All right, Daniel Lanier here. I'm excited today because I know you guys have seen this on your social media feeds. It's the BlendJet Original Portable Blender. I'm going to unbox it, put it through its paces, and see how good this thing actually is and see if it's something you might want to buy. So it's the BlendJet Original Portable Blender. I'm excited to get in this thing and see how good it works. Daniel Lanier, let's go. So to test out the blending, I got some frozen fruits. I have some lemons. I have some walnuts because you can also use this as a processor. So we're going to see how it does on some walnuts. So we're going to go through and we're going to do some. I got some protein powder too because I want to see how it does with powders inside the blender just like any blender. So let's get it going. All right. So the first thing I want to do is actually just do some ice. So normally when you do any of these things, you're going to add liquid to them. So it's going to be a little easier for it to mix. But I want to see how it does with ice by itself. Nice in there. Now this is a six point blade, so this should cut pretty good with just using this ice. So we're gonna see how it does, let's go. Now with any blender, you're gonna get, you're gonna have to mix it up and do stuff like that. I mean, some of the bigger ones, yes, you're probably gonna use that. But like I said, if we have liquid in here, it's gonna help move this ice around to blend. But just from what I'm seeing, it's doing a good job. The ice going down. Let's keep it going. All right, let's add a little water in there and so we can move the ice a little more. I, I feel like it's doing a good job though. It's, it's, I got a lot of crushed ice in there, so it's doing a good job. But let's put a little liquid in there. Oh, you know what that means? So that red means the blade is stuck. So the ice is probably frozen around water. Oh, I love when stuff like this happens in the demo. It's good. So the blade is stuck. Let's take a All right, so starting off with just ice, I'm gonna say it broke up probably 80% of the ice. Yeah, let's do this. Let me put it in something to see what it looks like. All right, so Saying not bad. These are the biggest chunks we have. That's quite a few big chunks there. All right, let's do ice with water at the same time. All right, so this time we're gonna add ice and we're gonna add water. Water. Definitely better than last one. We've got a few chunks. You do just a little bit more. Definitely a lot better. We only had this one. A couple of smaller little chunks, but really this one big chunk. It's just the biggest one right here. So definitely did a much better job this time. Just got the one big chunk right here. Everything else is broke up really good. So let's do some fruit now. All right, we're gonna do a little, let's do, let's do a little blueberry mango smoothie.
So what I like to do, if I'm doing protein powder, I'll put a little fruit, and I do this in my regular blender. So if I put a little protein powder in, I kind of layer it in with the fruit. So I got some blueberries in there. I'm gonna add some protein powder. Got a little something. Normally I would put a little liquid in the bottom to break up the protein powder. Now I'm gonna have to use my chopsticks. So we got 20 seconds of blend. Well, do a couple pulses here. So it's doing a good job here, but it's not bringing everything down. And that may be, to be quite honest, it may be because how I set it up. So we can see it's not getting all the fruit and all the mix down in this area. That's what I'm going to do. Um, just going to mix this a little bit more. I'm going to go. got to the mangoes and the mangoes were all just chunky in there. So the bottom came out great, but the top part, we didn't get any mix on the top part. So a lot of chunks and stuff on the top. So I'm going to say that mix didn't go quite as planned. So Let's do a little another mix. I'm gonna clean it and then we'll do another little mix. I'm gonna do that last one over, but I'm gonna do it like I do in my blender, a normal blender. So I put a little bit of liquid in the bottom. And I will say, Things have been sitting out for a few minutes, so they're all starting to get softer. Then I'll go This is what I usually do with my blender. It usually helps. things I'm gonna point out this first the first test all this stuff was fresh out the freezer still really frozen it's been sitting out for a few minutes now so everything is kind of softening up which when I take my take this to work because I've taken it to work I have noticed that everything gets soft by the time I get to work and then when I turn it on it blends fine so let's see what we get it looks like we're getting Pretty nice as far as a good blend going on. All right, so making a smoothie, we still had a few blade lockups. Let's see. Let's see how this one came out. 
Now we know from the last one, we had a lot of chunks of mango. Mango never got broken down at all. We had some big protein clumps. Let's see this one. This one's a lot better. A lot better. So how you put the mix in there does make a difference. I mean, I do that with my blender that I have now. So it does make a, a difference how you put the mix in there. So I do want you to take that into consideration. But this one mixed up fine. That looks great. I didn't have any chunks at all. And this one, I don't see any protein. I don't hardly see any protein on the walls either. So this one makes great. So just think about that when you're mixing, how you're putting your ingredients in, because it will make a difference to what comes out. As you can see, night and day difference between this one and the first one. A lot of clumps and everything in that first batch, nothing in this one. And it really boiled down to how I put my ingredients in the blender. So I like how this mix went. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to clean this up and we're going to make uh, do two more. We're going to do some lemonade. One of my favorite things to drink. Lemonade. That cool refreshing drink. We're going to do that and then we're going to mix up some nuts. Now that was pretty messy as you guys can see. They say just add a little soap and water, turn it on, and it should clean. I think we're going to have to do a little bit more with this smoothie, but let's see. Okay. All right, so we can see this is just with soap and water cleaned up good. So I'm just going to rinse it. good everything came up pretty good and I didn't even have to use my little tool and get in there which I probably still will I still go in there and get just to make sure there's nothing at the bottom just gonna do one more rinse yeah but just with soap and water good clean just like they said so no issues, no protein powder all stuck on the edges, all that came off, no fruit stuck on the blade, blades look really good, cleans up well. One of my favorite things to make lemonade because my great grandmother made the best lemonade. So um, this is just some fresh squeezed lemons. So just lemons and something I tell people all the time, a blender is not a juicer. So if you're trying to extract the pure juice of something, the blender is not going to give you just a pure juice. So this is just some lemon pressed lemons in here. So I got that and we're just going to add some water, some agave. Now, if you do want a little bit more sour and some pulp, you can take a piece of a lemon and then actually put the whole lemon in there. So we're going to do that in here. My grandmother used to cut up some lemons and actually put the lemons in after she pressed the lemon lemons. So we're going to add that. I'm going to add some water. And the key to this is I want to see how good it mi mixes the agave in here. That's my sweetener for this is the agave. And then what I normally do is I'll pour this over ice because it's going to be really sour. So pouring it over ice, it'll get it to break down and it gets to a point where it just tastes great. All right. There shouldn't be any problems blending this. You see all that agave at the bottom. I want to see how good it mixes that up. Good. All right, everything looks good. It's got a couple of seeds in there. You can get out of that lemon. That's fine. But it looks great. Now, something cool about this, you can drink right out of this. So if you're on the go and you just take it like this, it could just take on the go. You could just drink right out of it. Or you can pour it in a cup. You can make drinks. And just pour it in a cup. So if you're just making drinks for just you, you can just fill this up and pour it. Easy cleanup, small little blender like this. 
Mm -mm. Tastes delicious. All right, so let's, um, we're gonna pour this out. Actually, let me pour it in a glass. You guys can see. Let's see how. Yeah, I don't see any agave residue. Trying to keep those seeds right there. Yeah, mix that agave in there really good. I don't see any agave in there. There's none at the bottom, so I don't see any agave residue in here. So it mixed it really good. All right, so I like to make these power bowls, and I like to put fruits in them, oats, agave, protein powder, and nuts. So we're going to see. It says, oh, wow, that's great. It says that it chops up nuts. You can do some food processing. Let's see what kind of job it does. I don't know about using it to chop up nuts. Smoothies, mixed drinks, fantastic. I mean, not the, not the worst job, but not the best. I just got a couple of, a couple of them that didn't really get crunched up, chopped up, I should say. I mean, not, not a horrible job, but probably wouldn't use it to do the nuts. Probably wouldn't use it for that. But overall, pretty good. All right, so that was it. The blend jet, you know, it worked good. And I have to, I have to tell you guys this. You know, I had, uh, during the video, you guys saw I had a couple of blade jams, just like you may have in your regular blender. I had a couple of blade jams, but I will tell you guys this. I've used it for a few weeks now, and what I do is I put all my ingredients in, I take it to work, put it in the fridge at work, and then lunchtime, I get ready and I go ahead and blend. And everything's kind of ready to go. I've never had a blade jam but putting the things in fresh and frozen, it seems like you can get those blade jams. And also something to think about is how you put your ingredients, just like any blender, how you layer your ingredients up in here is also gonna add to the performance of the blending. But I'd say overall, I actually really like it. I, I think it's a good portable blender. I like to see them come up with some different tops for it though. So you don't necessarily drink out of just this top. So I like to see that. I like that it fits right in my cup holder and my car. So it's pretty cool. It fits in all my bags, so I don't have a problem with it going in pretty much all my book bags. But I like it. Blend Jet Portable Original Blender. I think um, for having something for you to just take the work or take on the go with you just to blend things up. You can make all kind of little blends, different kind of juice blends, stuff like that. You can also do smoothies, things like that. But I think it's great, little portable blender. So far it's working really good. It's been pretty doable on my back, throwing it around. But I would uh, check it out. I would definitely check out the blend jet. It's not that expensive. So definitely something I would think about buying. So this is Daniel Lanier. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. I got more reviews, how-tos, DIY, and of course, cool motivation coming at you. I'm gonna go do some blending. I'm out, deuces.